Hi. How are you guys today? Good, not bad. It's Friday. Everybody happy? It's Friday. Yes. Hi. So today I would like to share the sermon that is titled, What is Faith? Now, the story is based on the story in the Bible. Anybody can identify which place this might be? Yes. Israel. Other guesses? Yes. Yes, it's Jericho. Yeah, second grader. Yes, it's Jericho. Now, the Israelites were going to conquer Jericho. So Jericho was not part of Israel yet, but God had promised, I'm going to give you guys Jericho, Canaan, the land that is flowing with honey and milk. So what happened is one of the Israelite leaders is going to uh, send two spies. Anybody remember second grade? I heard Brendan singing the song about Jericho. Do you remember where the second graders? Okay, here. <laughs> second graders. So who, any name person, Israelite? Wait, Brenda, you already answered. Somebody else? No? Then third grade. Third grade? Yes. Joshua. Yes, thank you, third grade. Yes, so Joshua is going to send two spies to Jericho. And these two spies are supposed to meet somebody there. Anybody remembers from middle school? Let's move on to middle school. Don't be too shy. I see a hand over there. Yes? Yes, Reha. So they're going to go and meet Reha. And Reha was a woman who lived in Jericho. She lived in the wall of the fortress, and she met a lot of people as they were traveling there. Now, Reha made this, um, met the spies, and the spies were telling her, you know, the Israelites are going to come, and we are going to conquer Jericho. Uh, what do you think she did? Other middle schoolers, middle schoolers. What happened? Did she turn them in? Did she go to the king? Hey, I have some spies in my home. How much money are you going to give me? I can lend them to you. Hide them, yes. So she decided to hide them. Sorry, these two things work separately, so I can't keep track. So she decided to hide them, but then who heard about it? The king heard about it. And do you think he was happy that somebody was hiding spies? No, he was very angry. So he said, send someone to Rahab, uh, Rahab's house so we can get the spies. So Rahab hid the people on the roof of her home, and the soldiers came, and they were asking, where are the spies? We heard that Israel sent spies to look at our land. You have to turn in those spies. But she was saying, oh, yeah, I met two men, but I didn't know where they were from. I know they just left, so if you hurry up, you can catch them. So she lied to them, right? She lied to them, but later she went up and talked to the spies. I heard so many things that the Israelite God did for your country, for your people. I know that because of those miracles, your God is the real God. So I'm going to help you, but you have to save me. So when you come later and you conquer Jericho, you have to save my life and my family's life. Then the spies said, yes, we'll do that, but you have to promise you're not going to tell about us to anyone. So they made a deal, and Rahab decided to help them so she would lay uh, down a rope and let the spies go out. So that's the story we're going to be talking about today. Who remembers what was the title for today's sermon? Oh no, short-term memory. Okay, Brian. Yeah, this is what is faith. So we're going to be talking about faith. So the first point I would like us to think about is faith comes from hearing. So let's read Joshua chapter 2, verse 10 together. Ready, begin. Yeah. And what you did to Sihon and Og, the two kings of the Amorites, east of the Jordan, whom you completely destroyed. So Reha was meeting all these travelers because she was living on the fortress wall and she was hearing all the stories. And one of the popular stories of Israel is what? Yes, Daniel? Moses. Yes, what did Moses do? Yes. <laughs> yes. Escape from Egypt. Uh, yes, but miracles. What miracles did Joseph do? This side. Our older students. Long-term memory, he says, what happened to the Red Sea? Yes. Yes, right? So he was asking God to split the Red Sea. He split so the Israelites could walk on land, and they could see like a big, real aquarium, you know, passing by, and you see the fish, the shark coming through, but not really, getting land. 
But then after the Israelites passed the Red Sea, what happened to the water as the Egyptians started coming behind them? Yes, the water closed again and the uh, Egyptian people died. <laughs> so Rahab heard all these stories and she started believing, oh, you know, how can all these miracles happen to the Israelites? It's probably then because their God is the real God. Okay, let's read one more verse, Joshua chapter 2, verse 11. Ready, begin. Now, God had promised the Israelites as they were going out of um, Egypt that they would get a land that was flowing with honey and milk. But it was not easy. They didn't just have a land and just go and, oh, we are so happy. They had to fight for that land. And as they were fighting, they were winning. And uh, Rahab heard of the stories. How is that possible? You know, the Israelites, um, did they have any military training? Was their job being like soldiers in Egypt? No. no. What were they doing in Egypt? Farming. Farming? <laughs> well, long time ago, <laughs> before they started getting so uh, prosperous like in numbers, what were they doing? Playing. Playing? <laughs> Which, oh yes, they were slaves. They were building the pyramids, you know, all the Egyptian monuments that you see. Yes, they had no experience in fighting, but they were winning all these strong people, these soldiers. That is because the God of Israel is the real God. So she started hearing all these stories and believing your God is the real God. Now, how many of you have heard this phrase? Nobody? <laughs> That's so sad. Uh, yes, okay, some people over here. I would like to have like two examples. Nobody? Everybody shy? Okay. Then Chloe, can you tell us aloud, like who told you this and why? Oh, that's great. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now on this side, Daniel, you answered too many questions. Oh, Christy. Oh, I see. Oh, she must be a wonderful science teacher. <laughs> All right, I see. Uh, yes, thank you, Christine. All right, I'll show you a picture. So what do you think is this cute little baby? I wasn't this cute. I kind of knew somebody would say me. I wasn't this cute when I was a baby. Any guesses? Yes, this was Emily. Ooh, did I skip? Oh, oh no, what happened? Ooh. I guess this was not refreshed, but ideally, I'm supposed to have a picture of Emily there. Yes, this is Emma. And the reason I decided to show you this picture is Emily, and that is my mom, and that's my dad, and that's uh, Emily's great-grandma, so that's my mom's mom, is my mom was a very strict, uh, typical Korean or Asian parent. So she was very strict. <laughs> and when she would discipline me, uh, what she used is, anybody knows uh, Chango? the Korean instrument that you play is like a drum. Yes. So she, uh, she would discipline me by using the changgoche. Anybody seen the changgoche? It's very thin, made of wood, very, not that long, but maybe this long. Yes, so I, if I was in trouble, she would say like, or she would bring it and have your hands out <laughs> and she would hit me a few times. So that was the way that she would discipline me. Uh, hopefully that was because she was very young. But when she got her first grandchild, Emily was her first grandchild, she was a different person. She was so nice, so loving and encouraging. So she would tell Emily all the time, you can do it, you are the best, etc. So I think because of that, Emily <laughs> did believe that she was good at various things. So the reason I brought that up is, what's the first main point I have told you so far about faith? Faith comes from hearing. hearing, yes. So if you keep hearing from your teachers, your friends, your parents, you can do it. You start believing it. Now, when do we usually hear God's words? Bible. We hear God's words during Bible? Oh, you mean Bible class? Yeah. Ah, I see. Sorry, I'm like literally the Bible. How do you hear the Bible? Mm -hmm. Yes, Bible class. Anywhere else? Only Bible class? Yes. Devotion time? Yes. Guys, over here, so low participation. Yes. Uh, during prayer time, oh, maybe. Yes. Church, when you're giving service, or even right now, it's chapel time. You are hearing God's words. 
Now, during God's words, this time we have a lot of temptations, right? So some of your temptations might be other thoughts. Yes, so look at all the pictures right here. And I was happy I saw basketball because I heard basketball club got so popular this uh, semester. So we have like 15 like people in the basketball team. I'm like, oh, maybe it's because of the chairs and the co-chairs. Maybe. <laughs> okay. But you know what? In one of the field trips, we went to the arcade and Caleb and I, we uh, did a competition, free throw competition. Guess who won? Yes. <laughs> So I'm thinking his skills show better in the court. So maybe next time we can play in the court. Yes. So you might be thinking about your wonderful uh, club or we have a heart. You might be thinking right now about your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or even K-pop idols, right? Like you want to know what are they doing right now? Are they practicing, sleeping? Are they doing Instagram, etc.? Uh, that's something, for me, it's really hard to relate. It's like, why do you care about what they are doing all day? But yes, there are some uh, girls and maybe boys who like uh, seeing that. Uh, how many are good at doing this? Oh, really? <laughs> this is where everybody's like participating. Maybe you're doing it right now. I see, okay, you can put your hands down. Um, for me, it's very hard to do this. I don't know. For some reason, I would just keep thinking. And trust me, it's not science. It's not Bible that I'm thinking all the time. But sometimes I want to turn it off. I'm like, I want to just stop thinking. So if you're able to do this, I think it's a pretty good skill. Uh, some of you might be in another place, in dreamland. Um, so I'm checking for my bio students because they have a test today. So I'm wondering if they slept too late because they were not studying earlier and they're falling asleep at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have those students. Yes, so if you are thinking about something else or you are bong terigi or if you are sleeping during chapel or sermon time, are you hearing God's word? No. You're not. Then your faith is not going to increase. This is why it's so important that we do what? Focus. We focus and? Listen to God's word during chapel time. All right, okay. Let's move on to the second point. Let's read it together. Ready, begin. Okay, let's read the verse. This is from Joshua chapter 2, verse 12. Ready, begin. Now, did Rahab believe that the Israelites would come and actually just destroy Jericho? Did she believe that? She did. That's why she was pleading them, you know, I'm going to help you. I'm going to be nice to you, so please save me. So she was acting on her belief, right? Okay. Then I tried to think of another example in the Bible who was doing something because they truly believe in God's word. Anybody can think of an example? I think Daniel is participating a lot. <laughs> okay, Daniel. 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 So what did Daniel do? Because. Great mindset. Okay, because he believed in what? He believed that God will save him. Oh, okay. Let's give Daniel a hand. Thank you. Okay. So we had one more hand over there. Okay. Yes, Alec. Noah. Noah. So what did Noah believe, and what did he do? Oh, very nice. Let's give Alison a hand. Thank you. Yes. Now let's uh, see if you were actually paying attention last week during Dr. Lee's wonderful sermon. So who did he talk about? I think he talked about at least two people from the Bible. Yes. Peter. Wow, okay. Alison, yes, a new student was paying attention during class time. Yes, so I thought of Peter. And the reason I thought of Peter was who is the person who walked on water? Jesus and Peter, the only ones on earth so far from you know so many thousand years ago, he was the only one. But if Peter didn't believe that he could actually walk in the water, would he have gotten off the boat? No, he doesn't want to drown, right? But when he realized, oh, that's not a ghost, that is Jesus, then he's saying, Jesus, if that's really you, I want to walk on the water too. And Jesus said, come. Then Peter got off the boat and he started to actually walk on water. And what happened next? 
he started drowning because his faith drowned. He saw all the wind and all the water. He's like, oh, no, I'm walking on the water. This cannot be happening. He started drowning. So that's when his uh, faith decreased. But at the beginning, he really believed. That's why he was able to show by getting off the boat. So I tried to think of an example in my life. So which um, verse or which passage in the Bible do I truly believe in and do I truly try to follow consistently? So what I thought of was this. Anybody knows uh, what tithes are? <gasps> oh, no. Yes. Tithe? Yes. yes. So uh, we know Shivija, but we don't know tithe. Yes, we know tithe now. Okay. Then Matthew, since you say you know, so what is uh, tithe? Oh, no? No. Oh, was that not Matthew? Somebody said Shivija. Somebody said, oh, Shivija. Then who said Shivija? <laughs> I won't give you the merge for Korean, but. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, she made choice, Caleb Chang. Okay. So, Caleb, what is tithe? Uh, for the sake of offering, you give God uh, that you give your 10% uh, to God, usually monthly, yearly, depending on the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, whatever allowance you're getting, whatever salary you're getting, 10% of it, you. Uh, separated for God to say thank you God for giving me this uh, money and I know I got it because of your help that is a type and the reason I started giving a type is because of this verse so let's read it together ready begin I can't remember exactly how old I was when I heard it but I think I was um, kind of young and naive and what you hear or you read here is rob. Is robbing something good? No, it means that you are a thief. You are stealing. So I was so shocked. I'm not a thief. <laughs> How can I be stealing? But I was stealing from God. So since then, I started to give tithes. So whenever I would get allowance, maybe from my parents, my grandparents, etc., I would give 10% to God and from my salary as well. The first thing after I get my salary on the bank, I would give 10% to God as a tithe. Now, a few weeks ago was a special holiday. What holiday was it? Solar? <laughs> Not solar, it was the Lunar New Year. So what did you guys do during the Lunar New Year? This side, middle school. What did you guys do during the Lunar New Year? Visiting grandparents. Visiting grandparents, okay. Others? Ali? I ate some really good food. Oh, nice. Really good food. Yes. Oh, 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 I see. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, so that was your Luna New Year. All right, from this side, our 11th graders, what did you do during New Year's? Eat dumplings. Okay, did you make them too? No, just tasted them. I see. Uh, anybody did this? Yeah, <laughs> probably a lot of you were expecting to do this, especially our younger students. And what happened after you did the bowing? Money. Yes, you got bills or you got some envelopes. Yes, you got bowing money or sebeton, right? Uh, what did you do with your sebeton? Did you keep it safe with your parents? <laughs> or put it in your bank? <laughs> oh, some of you put it in the bank. Okay, all right, yes. <laughs> it's not keeping it safe. Okay, so you stole your money. I see. From this side, did any of you use all of your bowing money, Sebeto? No, no. Oh, that's nice. Okay. But if you haven't yet, you got your allowance or Sebeto, what do you have to do today on? Huh? Yes, you have to give your tithe. You have to, so let's say, don't tell me how much you got, but let's say if you got 100,000 won, what's 10% of 100,000 won? 10,000 won. And you might think, 10,000 won? I have to give 10,000 won? But how much are you keeping? 90,000 won. God doesn't ask you give me 10%. You could if you are that thankful, but he's asking you only give me 10% to show me that you really are thankful and you trust me. So hopefully, when you go to church this Sunday, your church can see that dang, 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 gave the tithe. Okay. 
then what are other ways that you can show your faith? So if you see here, the old way of communicating when you're playing around is the old telephone, right? If you do truly believe that God hears, not necessarily answer the prayer the way you want, if you really believe that God hears your prayer, what are you going to do? You're going to pray more. You're going to talk to God more, right? Okay. Something else is if you really believe in God's word, are you going to act on God's word? Yes. And uh, which is the greatest commandment, the first greatest commandment God told us to do? Not the first. Loving others not the first. That's the second greatest commandment. Love your God. Yes. Love your God with all your mind, your soul, your body, and your strength. And the second commandment is love your, love your neighbor as yourself. So this morning, I would like to have you act on love your neighbor as yourself. So what I would like you to do is you are going to wait, turn to the print to the left and to the right. You are going to say, I love you. Give them high five or fist bump or give them a hug. I love you. Left side and right side, everybody. I love you. Okay, now turn to the person in front of you and behind you say, I love you, man. I love you. You are my best friend. I love you. Oh. Right, so before we pray, I would like to end with a summary of today's chapel. So what was the title of today's chapel? Oh, thank you for paying attention. Yes, what is faith? And what was the first point we learned? Hearing. What about hearing? Faith comes from hearing. Yes, we remember hearing. And the second was? You can show faith by what we do. Yes, show your faith with actions. Thank you. Then let's pray.